That's for you. Hey y'all, Chuck here, Paige. Hey, we are here at the Emperor Kimai Temple here in uh, Nakom Rechisima. Mm -hmm. This is uh, one of the oldest temples here in Thailand. We're gonna check it out. Look, my ticket was a hundred baht. And yours is. I got this cat. How much is yours? Easy. Twenty baht. <laughs> It's okay. I know a lot of people complain about Falangs have to pay more money to get into it. It's mostly national parks and stuff like that, but I don't know of any park you can go to in America for uh, $2.80 or $2.90, and three bucks, you know? So anyway, it's fine with me. We got to use the restroom and we're going to check it out. So uh, this is day number two of our... Uh, little stop here in Nakom Rechisima. So, anyway, beautiful day. Got my hat on. I don't know where I'm going. I'm gonna go pee.
I don't know about you guys, but that was beautiful. Me and Paige just love old stuff like, and it's so quiet out here. You know, that's the one thing I really, really love about Thailand is that uh, during the day, it's not really busy because it's hot, sun's bright. So you can uh, go to the beach, you can go to the museums, you can see stuff like this with just hardly anybody in it. I think that's awesome. You get the most experience out of it but this thing is crazy old they're still rebuilding it trying to put pieces together but it's just amazing that this is still standing from something that's been built back in the 10th century it's awesome walking walking on stones that uh, I don't know, it's cool. What do you think? You like it? Mm -hmm. These steps are no joke. <laughs> <laughs> this is where the ties got their pattern for building steps. Right there. They've been building them like that for 4,000 years and they're not stopping. Hey guys, check this out. This bathroom here is pretty cool. This is inside the museum. But they have a toilet. Of course, it's BYOT. Or bring your own toilet tissue or paper. But they have a modern, like, squatter toilet. But it's got a tank. I guess in case you just can't get away from... Uh, that because you're not used to sitting down and pooping or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, that's cool. We're starving. I gotta get something to eat. All I've had this morning was rice soup, jolt, and uh, climbing up and down those damn stairs. <sighs> My legs are shaking. I'm weak. Plus, it's like 1 o'clock, I think. Hungry? Okay, we stopped at this little roadside place just down the street from where we were at. The big thing here is 
you know, back home we have, you know, barbecued chicken. Guy, guy young, but here it's uh, duck, barbecued duck, so it's called bet young. So we gotta have it, we gotta try it. Cool place, just gonna be a little loud. There it is. It's like a little young duck. Paige said this place has been here for th over 30 years. Over 30 years. See that good looking girl right there? It's a dude. <laughs> She walked by, I was like, damn, and then she turned around, I was like, holy shit. Good. This is awesome good stuff. That's really, 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 really good. It's like a pat thai. What is it? They call pat me. But it's, it's kind of the same? I guess I don't know. That's really good. It's got a different flavor to it. It's got more of a spicy, tangy taste to it. It's pretty good. I'm excited. Well, we stopped off at this little little market to buy some fruit. Uh, how much was it? Mine was uh, How much was yours? Uh, so about 100, 150 baht for all this. So about uh, four dollars. <laughs> We're going to go for a little walk through the neighborhood. It's raining, it's sprinkling right now, but it was pouring. And we were going to go out to eat dinner with her other cousin, but uh, I don't like to drive in the rain. So he's going to go get to go dinner food. to go and bring it to the house and just eat there and chill tonight. So, yeah, that's about uh, all that's happening for the rest of our day. Don't know what we're going to do tomorrow, but this is a beautiful place. I, uh, I'll try to find out the cost on the home homes out here. Her house was built a while back, so I'll, uh, I'll try to find out what it costs. Uh, I had another subscriber send me a comment uh, that he... His wife had a home, or they had a home here in the same subdivision. But uh, yeah, seems like a very nice place. The only thing that I, seeing that this is Thailand, is you don't have the convenience of just walking across the street and getting food, or you gotta get in your car or your moped and actually drive. But it's secure and it's quiet, and you don't have a bunch of, like our house, we have just <laughs> it's noisy. You know it's noisy. You hear it and com complain about it every time I make a video in the front yard. So all I hear here is birds. Mm -hmm. I really like that, but I just I'm not a big city person. But this is nice. Anyway, there, there's a little a little store that somebody's got in their house over here in the neighborhood. We're gonna walk over there. 
you know what I love about random fruit trees? They're all over the place. There's, there's a fruit here, but I don't know what it is. Neither does Paige. There's a red one up there. You've got to be able to eat it, or I don't think they would grow it. Thai people eat everything. I'm sure they'll eat that. This is the little store right there. I don't know if you can see it, but that big giant Tesco store we were at yesterday is just right across the street from here anyway, so that's, that's a better convenience. Those are nice people in there asking us where we're from, but uh, just got a bag of 10 baht, 28 cents worth of ice. Paige got her some orange juice. She said they close at 8. Or you can just call or knock on the door. <laughs> so. You need something later. <laughs> Look at that tree. That's awesome. And it smells so good. You know what they say, you know, you got to stop every now and then and smell the flowers. But uh, I've never done that in my life. <laughs> but here, the smell is just overwhelming. The flowers. It smells awesome. I was uh, stationed in Hawaii for a little while in the army. And it's pretty tropical. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty tropical place, but not nearly as tropical as Thailand. However, Hawaii is beautiful. So is that snapper? Yeah. Or snapper? Okay, it's just fish. I don't know what you mean. Yeah. Awesome. Starving, oh, hungry. Cool. Yeah. Chung yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just told me, go, go, go. That means frog. Im then, huh? Am I? Im then, huh? Well, dinner is awesome. Thank, thank you. He, uh, he said this house right here is three million. Back then. But it was built about seven years ago, right? Twelve, yeah. Twelve years ago this house was built, but now new construction is about six, six, seven, seven million. And you can buy used houses, just depends on the market. But between th three and seven million uh, bought to buy a house here in this neighborhood. The one thing about uh, Karat is that they're building a monorail. They're, they're doing the plans right now, but the monorail is going to run between here and Bangkok. So it would be good to, to live here and get on the monorail and work in Bangkok because it wouldn't take that long. How long does it drive to Bangkok? Like? So about two hours. Yeah, about two hours, there. about a two hour drive from here, so yeah, it's much better to live here and work in Bangkok where all the money is, so, but anyway, 
that's the end of our day. Had a good day. I'm tired. Uh, enjoyed the walk. It was a beautiful day today. So, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Bye. <laughs> she got her mouth full. And we're drinking chocolate. <laughs>